Craig Carmichael carrying Kawasaki's hopes in this one. John O'Porter is in there and Shane Boyd. Watch him on the Yamaha. Classfield, Troy Doran, the reigning champion there as well. We're set for a start in the 1 2 5 final. Good one by Troy Doran on bike one as they head into the opening corner, but it's Robbie Marshall who's got the upper hand. Yes, Rocket Robbie Marshall away nicely. Doran now challenges as they negotiate the Kawasaki step up. Look at Marshall coming back at him on the outside, but no, it's bike one. Troy Doran at the moment. Brett Metcalf on the KTM is doing very well. There's Craig Carmichael on a charge now. He's gotten around Robbie Marshall. The next target, Troy Doran. The 26-year-old currently sitting second in the points for Team Green Kawasaki. Just look at him. He almost appears too big for this motorcycle, but he still jumps that triple section and goes on the attack as he looks up the inside. He can't quite do it for the moment. Doza hangs on. Doran got a better run out of that corner and hangs on to the lead. Carmichael is right with him as they go through the whoops. Looking for an inside run is Craig Carmichael. He out-muscles him. Passes Troy Doran. Great move. Well, we mentioned it was his forte, the stutters. And that's exactly where he blasted on through. He's very solid in the upper body region, although he nearly throws the thing away. And now, can Carmichael hang on to it? There'll certainly be heaps of pressure from here on in. There won't be much of a break for him at the end of this race. He's got a backup for the 250 final as well. Craig Carmichael looking good at the moment, though, in the 125 final. This is Brett Metcalf on the comeback trail after an injury for the Castrol KTM squad. And, gee, there is a lot of interest in this man on the European scene. A lot of talk, John, that he might be in the World Motocross Championship next year. That's exactly right, Greg. It looks as though he's managed to secure the last three rounds of the 125 World Championship a little later this year. Oh, look at this. He's come up short on the triple and face planted into the terra firma. Gets up, trying to shake himself back into it. Let's watch on the replay. This is a big one. Well, he just missed cues on that third jump. The front wheel collects it. The bike cartwheels from there. And he kisses the dirt. Well, if anything was ever going to test his shoulder after the rehab, this was it, Rusty. And one of the worst ways to crash to if you're going to have one, and that's over the bars. Gee, that was a heavy fall for Brett Metcalf. This man can afford to bruise on the Team Green Kawasaki. Craig Carmichael has blitzed them in the 1-2-5 final. He takes it out comfortably. The reigning champ, Troy Doran, will get home in second position. Third to Robbie Marshall. John O'Porter in fourth. And unfortunately, not enough laps completed for Shane Boyd. He's a non-finisher. I've been having a bit of trouble tonight on the 125. I'm a bit big for the thing. And, uh, you know, I was surprised I got around there like that. But, you know, does a rate a good race. And, uh, you know, I'm just more than happy. Carmichael's effort has helped cut Troy Doran's championship lead down to six points. John O'Porter in third. Jai Harvey sixth.